I'm gonna make a reset button here and it looks like an X right there and the way I got it I went choose a sprite letters I grab this X right here but you can really grab any X you want one thing I did first is I needed when you click it I wanted it to look differently so I duplicated the first image right here I shrunk it you highlight it and you just shrink it and then the other thing that I did if you zoom in a little bit I dumped a color on the inside I'd, all I did was I took it and just make it made it much darker filled it in like that um, I wanted to keep it red but it's up to you so we have a big one and then a smaller one that I just made darker and the cool thing about that let's see when you click it what is going on when you click it it shrinks down and goes uh, bigger again okay so when I hit the start button I want to switch to block X which again is the original costume and then when the sprite is clicked I got that from control uh, somewhere in here Oh, it's events, just kidding. Similar color. When the sprite is clicked. So when the sprite is clicked, what do I do? Uh, I want to switch to the other costume, which I called Block X Pressed. Yours might be called Costume 2, and that's fine. I broadcast a stop message. I want new message, and I created one called Stop. And then I wanted to wait a few seconds. Well, not a few seconds, it's actually 0 0.3 seconds. And then I'm going to switch the costume back to the block X, and then I'm going to stop this script. Uh, if you look, there's nothing else happening in this script, so that stop is not necessary. Uh, so let's go ahead and click it, and we'll see what happens. So for one third of a second, 0.3 seconds, uh, it will go to the second costume and then come back to the original. And the important thing here is this broadcast stop. Uh, because what that's going to do, it's going to let my other sprites, when I receive stop, they can do things like reset to their original positions. So you're going to see this bug move. If I just hit this stop, it just stops all the scripts. It doesn't actually reset anything. So if I hit this stop up here, it'll actually reset the bug. Uh, what this bug is doing is keeping moving. I don't want it to keep moving. So when this bug receives the stop, it's going to reset its position, and then I'm going to stop other scripts in the sprite, which is this right here. So this is the one that makes it move. And so when it receives stop, it's going to stop other scripts in the sprite. I recommend against using stop all because it stops everything. And there may be some cleanup you need to do, some resetting. So now when I hit the stop button, it will reset to the original position. Even if it's moving, now when I hit stop, you see that it resets to its original position and does not continue to move. Again, if I take this off and hit play, you're gonna see that the button works, it's just that the bug doesn't stop moving because its other script continues to run down here. So now, we have a proper stop button that actually stops things. And you're going to notice this red stop is available as long as things are happening, as long as there's a script running and this one runs forever. So I can actually hit the stop button. When I hit this button, notice the red stop sign is going to disappear. Why does it disappear? It goes to gray because everything has already stopped. Uh, I have code that already stopped things. So that's how to make a stop button and that resets everything. And I'll show you that button one more time. Um, I only have this in just to reset it to the original costume, just in case you hit the stop button. Uh, I'll try to I'll try to do that here. I'm not fast enough, but if you're if you're fast enough, you can reset it. Uh, you can hit the stop button so it wouldn't change back to the original costume, but that's not really super important. Uh, this is really what is important right here.